Commander Dasha should. Source of the Nazi technology, I'm here to rescue you. I hope you'll find what you seek, my friend. My name is Bombate. William J. Blaskowitz. Be safe out there. No one leaves my camp! No, nah, I, I was angry for a stream. It, it was a false alarm. Mr. Max. I don't know if I like told violence. you, Lance. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Das Yichud is an ancient, mystical society. We invent things, the technology, the development. Das Yichud is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined. Take us back to Berlin, Blaskovich. And your old friend Frau Eng was leading the attack. That's it, but... Test something real quick. Make sure... Alright, yeah, it's still going. Sweet. ...to promote her for actions at the labor camp. You know what you have here, Captain? This is the Eva Salmon. Right, let's skip this shit. Alright, welcome everyone to part one of Wolfenstein 2. Your father won't be home. The today. new Colossus. I am Rich Kiefer, aka oh, Cryptic Paradox, he hurt you so the host of the Nerd Herd, and welcome rest. to this stream of I, I have so me and the entire playthrough of Wolfenstein 2. Oh shit, that's fucked up. Go on, Captain, make a choice for me. I did re reset the titles. They were. Um, so stubborn, Captain Blaskovitz. It's a good trait, mine. It's patience. I have an endless oh, so it's in... supply. I'll save Fergus. Oh, no, what is it? I see him. Caroline, this way. William. Oh, my stupid man. Did you think we would just leave you in here? I, I did reset the titles. I went to the Twitch creator and did all that, updated that, and then did it in Mob Crush as well. I don't know what, what's going on. To have finished the work I was put on this earth to do. Surrounded by friends that love me. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Abate, we are out. Fire! Yes, madam. It's bleeding out. Go faster. Oh. And the great warmth washing over me. Tao. I think the sky's on fire. He's dying. Caroline is dying. He's turning. Bombate, we'll need a gurney and a hangar bay. ETA 96. Death at the gates again. Howling my name. Come on in, old buddy. Sorry I made you wait. Let me show you something, Billy. My father told me if I ever had a son, I should give this to him. It is an engagement ring that has been with our family for eight generations. Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom. When you meet someone special, you will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. Do not tell your father about this ring. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. That is correct. It is not Rocket League. For some reason, our Twitch titles are not matching up with what I input just. on the update, and it's Good still showing Rocket League for some reason. Rocket League. Right? No idea. So yeah, we're going to be playing Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, oh, no. every Mother. Tuesday for the foreseeable future until I finish it up, which hopefully will be no more than five or six parts. Uh, Hoping. Fingers crossed. Whatever it takes, Dad, please. Stay Funny story, I actually did the old blood. I did change it on the Twitch D-board. That's what's confusing me. Oh, really? Wolfenstein? 
Yeah, well, I mean, Wolfenstein's probably about 30 years old. Well, yeah, shit. Close to 30 years old now. Uh, it was, the, it was uh, the shooter before Doom. So they did Wolfenstein and they did Doom. Doom uses the... Uh, Doom is basically a skin of Wolfenstein 3D originally. Essentially a skin. They use the no same idea. engine for Doom, what Wolfenstein, like and Quake. Like and then this is obviously the Bethesda oh, version. Made by Machine Games. It's a more or less supernatural take, more right. cyberpunk, not death. cyberpunk, uh, steampunk, uh, re retro future, so alternate Every history. With each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! <laughs> I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some nigga. We cannot live like this. I cook. I clean. I tend to the stables, to the field. You are not Okay. <laughs> then that would make sense. Yeah, I would say most recent ones were the New Order and then the New Colossus. We are behind in everything. Three months behind in your This is the sequel to the, the first game. In the new lost. trilogy. Playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? I am not the man you want to mouth off to. And you are not the man I married. I married a man. You're let me know. I'm not gonna bust out of the closet. So help me. I will not. Will not let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth, or I'll shut it for you. <laughs> what is it with you, damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you. Oh, they, they fix the sub, dude. Asset, but you just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. Appreciate it. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's not nice. <laughs> what else can I hit him with? Oh, fuck. You are so goddamn weak. They're going to pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. <laughs> and what are you going to do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. Slow your breathing, Blaskovich. Recover your strength. Oh, greatly appreciate the sub, dude. Thank you so much. Circle that rising. means a ton to us because we're, you know, relatively small channel still, kind of new. We're still figuring Twitch and all this stuff out, so it's always a good feeling when someone just kind of, you know, just stumbles in and likes what, what what they're seeing enough to sub, so thank you. Can you feel the kicking? Dinner time. Yeah. Yeah, you good girl. Yes, Bessie, you such a Wild good flashbacks girl. when he was a kid. You ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, you got to make hard decisions. And sometimes, you got to punish the animals out there. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches doing everything in their uh, power the to sub rob the white man of what he's earned. Usually, I thought it was it's on the little heart. To straighten out the queer. It's on you. At the top. Finger on the trigger. But I could be wrong because they've been updating this so much lately that I, right. it's hard to keep up with. Now. You are so feeble, just like your mother. I'm not going to kill the dog. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. 
His dad was an asshole. viewer side of Twitch a whole lot. I'm more, more on the create uh, the creative side. Oh shit. I got a wheelchair. Cool. Can I shoot from the wheelchair? Or am I just gonna be wheeling around this level? Take this. They're looking for you. Oh shit! Here they come. Snap! Look at that. Hey, <laughs> riding my wheelchair and just gunning Nazis down. Fuck yeah! Ooh, controls are a lot better than the first game, too. Nice. Kind of Can't tell if that's the stream or if that's just the game. Hang on, on. I'm on my way. Nope, can't go upstairs. Cripple's worst enemy. Oh, that's right. We don't have a sub button because of... Yeah, Twitch, until we become partner, that's when we get a sub button. For right now, we, we, we just have the follow button, which is kind of crap. I completely forgot about that. I guess because Twitch got so big, they, they're they limiting subs now more. And they grandfather, grandfather the old guys in. The old requirements, but... Oh, shit. Um... Yeah, but since we're newer, that we're part of the new guidelines, we have to have considerably more people online at once. Stop! Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, just keep following us. What? Okay, I am. Oh, it's the electric. That's what it's doing. Okay, so yeah, just listen, listen to Zyphon because he knows more about this more than I do. But yeah, as soon as uh, we get it, definitely give us a sub, and we will be eternally grateful, mate. And we'll, we'll probably give you a shout out. It's concentrated microwave bit. Hey, it's the old dude from the first game. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, there we go. One, two, two, one, two three. Oh, we don't see a new piece of track. Now, Mr. Blaskovich, I'm very happy to see you awake. Not so happy Anya. to see you out of bed. Where is she? Last time I saw her, she was, uh, she was with Caroline defending the cell plant. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Point me in that direction, sir. You know how long you've been in bed? Five yeah, months. Yeah, we stream Your body five days broken. a week. You understand? Normally. Kidneys are failing. You, you, uh, Monday through Thursday, 7 30 to 9 30. And then uh, Sundays no time for from 12 to 2. Uh, and Sundays are usually our She's group stream, except for this Sunday. Uh, one of our members is going to be 
Nazis. Out, and then I'm the I'm also going to be out. I'm going to be Many at the AEW wrestling event in Chicago Saturday. I'm about to be getting back Sunday. So no, it, it'll, it'll be um, Zyphon and Rocket Girl. Probably, I think from the sounds they're going to be doing Borderlands. So yeah, check that out from 12 to 2 on Sunday. Now, there are many Nazis between here and the sail platform elevator, but... And of I course, I'm playing tonight. Traps. I didn't Rock have the time to activate them, tomorrow. But look at this. This is a map to show you where the traps are. Uh, to I use think use she's going to play the probably Rocket League or um, Fortnite. Be careful. Thursday. Not to I believe Xiphon's on, so I'll probably play Rocket League or Fortnite as well. Triangle. You're hunting me. Got that backwards, lady. I'm hunting you. Ooh, environmental kills. Hell yeah. Oh, I killed myself. Awesome. Triangle. You're hunting me. Got that backwards, lady. I'm hunting you. Ooh, I can melee him. Nice. Crippled but able. Nice. Well, the trap backfired on me. I'm just, screw it, I'm just gonna shoot. I'm not even gonna worry about the traps. Got that. The backwards lady. I'm hunting you. Steps. Does he not see that? Gameplay definitely controls way smoother than the first game. Oh yeah, I have to go up this thing because the wheelchair. Noise. Sweet. Keep on rolling through here. Crap, I'm going back down. So what what type of games do you normally play, Andrew? Andrew. Ooh, max down. <laughs> Yes, I found a Rocket Girl. They play quite a bit of Rocket League. And they usually do that Wednesdays and Thursdays. I, myself, I play it occasionally, very casually. I'm, I'm more of a first-person shooter type of gamer, as you can see here. Um, but I definitely like the idea of Rocket League. Um taking something as simple as soccer and adding cars to it and making the controls really tight and smooth and just the cosmetics like the whole game is just brilliant and while I'm not good at it I can definitely respect and appreciate you know the skill it takes to master a game like that oh crap now I'm out of a wheelchair What? It's like three shots. Let's get dunked out of the wheelchair again. Reverse the conveyor belt. Wow. 
what the hell. Hey, hello, hello, Mar. It is wheelchair of the game. We're going up, and then we fall back out. Ironically, I can speed up while I'm on the conveyor belt just by pressing forward. That's what we're supposed to do. Okay. Fall out. That's a wheelchair. Back in the saddle, old man. Ignore the pain. Find a way to reverse the belt. Get up to the sail platform elevator. Yeah, luckily, the whole game isn't like this. Just all right. Just Belt the first level. Up we go. Who is Terror Billy? Is he even real? Yes, I am real. I'm in a wheelchair, but that is a momentary setback. Yeah, Andrew, uh, yeah, we actually host a podcast, which right now is currently on a little bit of a hiatus. We're uh, setting up, up a studio to do video and audio content, but we have the first nine episodes out on uh, Podbean, iTunes, Amazon, oh, shit. I think it's on iCloud, Podbean. Amazon, iTunes, Google right. Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Pandora, all that. So yeah, if, if you're into anything nerdy, check it out, because we talk about everything nerdy. Yeah, uh, it's called the Nerd Herd Podcast, just like the channel. It's N3RD, H-E-A-R-D. Yeah, we just recently, the past month or so, got into uh, video content. We've been focusing, trying to get that up and running consistently first, and then we're going to go, and we have a studio that we uh, just set up, so we're going to be doing video and audio content from there, so we'll be back in the podcast studio soonish and trying to crank more episodes out as soon as possible. Because we, uh, it, there's actually four of us, and we all actually work. We have uh, jobs during during the day, and so it kind of makes it hard to do a lot of, you know, to do a video and audio audio at the same time. But uh, crap. But um, all right. nice. Belt reversed. Up we go. And you spelled it correctly. N three R D. That is the only leak way of spelling it. Yeah, we uh, we have episodes about almost everything. We did, we did the twentieth anniversary of the Matrix. We've done uh, stuff about Marvel movies, comic books. Uh, I think we even had one in the can about plays, uh, music, just all anything nerdy, anything that we feel like talking about in that week. Because we try not to do the whole copy everyone else and do current gaming news or current events. We'll discuss those maybe on the stream here and there if people want to talk about that stuff, but you know, maybe catch up with something really big that, you know, happened that week, but for the most part, we try to just give our opinions on things and just be entertained, as entertaining as we could be because we're four friends that, you know, we're just like, fuck it. Our, our banner, we think, is pretty funny at least to ourselves, so let's put a mic in front of us and see what happens. Shit. Right now, we only have nine episodes, but they're about hour. They range anywhere from an hour to two and a half hours, so there's definitely quite a bit of content to listen to. Even though it's only nine episodes, it's about close to 18 hours worth. Of course, we 
got all, and then we also have our YouTube channel, which has all of our past streams archived there, so when they disappear from Twitch, we can just, we can just go to our YouTube page and they'll have anything older than the last two weeks of what Twitch usually has in their databases. Yay, I'm out of a wheelchair! I fall and I can't get up. Don't be stupid. Okay. Let's get you up. You gotten so fat. Set <laughs> says we're having twins. Segue for the next game. <laughs> Because the game I'll play after this is the Young Blood. Wolfenstein Young Blood, which you play as the BJ's uh, twin girls. You play as one of them, and then the other one helps you. It's like a Destiny style looter shooter. I did play the in between this, uh, the game between one and this one, but the footage didn't save. So I'm going to have to replay for the rest of the game. I'll pull that to YouTube directly. You should join Max! Smile! <laughs> Nice. What kind of comics do you like? Are you a DC or a Marvel fan? Or? Me personally, I am definitely I am in the Marvel camp, but I do like DC. But I, I remember a time where DC didn't totally suck. Not so ein böser Junge mit einer Waffe. Loslassen. Loslassen. Nice. So yeah, you were pretty young when the MCU started. <laughs> yeah, Deadpool. I appreciate Deadpool. Um, funny enough, I actually met the creator back at the Cincinnati Comic Expo two or three years ago. Three years ago now. Um, it was Rob Leafield, and yeah, met him. He was pretty cool. And that was right. That was a year after the first Deadpool movie came out. It was in between one and two. And uh, yeah, funny enough, Deadpool was actually a Deathstroke ripoff originally, and then it failed, and then they took him less serious, and then he became meta because the comic book was really failing. So Deadpool had definitely has an interesting history to him. Because he wasn't supposed to be as popular as he is, but he is like the most popular, or one of the most popular combo characters today, bar none. And I, I love the movies. Yeah, hey, I'm, I try to provide as much information as, as I know to our audience because I am full of useless information and I just. Oh no, I just love sharing anything like nerd related or nerd history related to an audience. Looks like I got called out. Don't go into Funny enough, I don't know, well yeah, because you've been quite too young to remember, but even before, um, you know, before Iron Man came out, a lot of people were doubting it at the time, context now, you know, Iron Man's the most popular hero out there today because of Robert Downey Jr., but yeah, he was, um, Robert Downey Jr. at the time of Iron Man was out of rehab the third time. And that movie basically saved his career. He was doing a lot of you independent stuff, but no major studio share. wanted to take a risk on him. So Marvel did. They're like, we need someone to do Iron Man. Marvel Jr. is a perfect candidate for it. He basically is Tony Stark outside of 
in real life at, at the time he had his, he was just getting his life together but he was a alcohol and a drug addict and that was his last chance and then boom magic happened he created the entire mcu practically it was spawned off of <laughs> iron man one and at the time iron man was not as popular as he is now like he was maybe lower a tier top b tier level avengers were definitely less popular than the justice league fast forward 10 years and it's the complete opposite nobody could care less about justice league the avengers are the highest grossing movie of all time and robert Downey jr is basically god amongst hollywood as far as making money <laughs> And so, yeah, I mean, I'm so happy because in the 90s, I, I grew up in the 90s, and DC was so much more popular than Marvel, and I was always the Marvel kid, so I always kind of got poked fun of her, you know, liking the crappier superhero movies, and the comics weren't as good, and so on, but so now it's kind of a sweet, little sweet revenge. A little satisfaction there. I shall put you on international television. Look, everybody... <laughs> oh yeah, X Men comics. I think they're some of the, still some of the best Marvel comics. I'm not as high on the comics nowadays as, as I used to be, but the X Men are still pretty good. They have so many arcs, but I would say three fourths of them are really good. The uh, movies, eh, not so much. You know, hit and miss, but I can appreciate what for what they are. Favorite is Mr. At Ice. Which Mr. Uh, Professor X do you like better? I'll think Mr. X. This isn't Resident Evil. Uh, which Professor X do you like better? You like the Patrick Stewart version or the Michael Fassbender? Yeah, origin too. Patrick Stewart, nice. A man of culture, I see. That's, that's definitely my favorite. <laughs> he can't. 100% agree with you, man. 100% agree. And inevitably, when the X-Men cross over in the MCU, it's going to be real interesting to see who, who's going to play Wolverine and Professor X because... In my opinion, they cast the best, the best two guys you could possibly imagine to play those roles. And knowing they have to move on is just... It's going to be tough. Uh, the auto mod kicked in. <laughs> no, you are not, sir. Michael Fassbender isn't bad either, but it's kind of full of Patrick Stewart. Auto mod is sensitive, <laughs> apparently. I'm not an uncultured swine. That's what made me have to to it to approve it because it was like aggressive i'm like it's not aggressive it's just, it's a joke <laughs> Caroline Becker, oh yeah yeah michael fassman a great actor in his own right following pat it's like you start off with the best and it's like it's hard to follow that it's just no matter who they get is always going to be compared to patrick stewart Snap! Cut. What's her face's head off? Jesus Christ! Fuck me! You were fucked in my stuff! Look at this! Holy crap! How strange! One moment she was here, and now she's gone! Right? Were these eyes ever filled with a lover's gaze? Oh! 
So. Das ist nicht komisch. <lacht> oh. Willst du auch ein Küsschen? Die Schie ist twisted. Auf deine dicken, fetten Wangen. Oder vielleicht lieber hier unten, ha? Let's go, Cube. Yes, they actually do speak German, and they, the subtitles only kick in when they speak a foreign language, which is a really nice touch. Instead of forcing to be on all the time. Yep. In this game, they take over over America. Oh, his arm! Oh, get my power armor. She's a Nazi. <laughs> that, that's how she's calm. She's crazy. She was one of the side villains in the first game, and then in this one, she's obviously the main villain. But the, the guy in the first uh, game is even worse. Uh, he experimented on people and basically put their brains into those big super soldiers you, you just saw. They're all machine except for the brain. Real slow, like a little disoriented on account of the blood loss. I can help you. I can give you information. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his name is Death's Head, and he basically, like, your friend in the first one, you, if you, you can choose between him and another, and another guy, and whoever you choose gets killed, they uh, take his brain out and then put it in one of the super soldiers. Now at the end, you have to fight him, and then of course you take the brain out, and then you. I'm not gonna totally spoil it, but yeah, it's it's a pretty twisted game. It's it was up in the clouds. Yeah, they went a little crazy with it. Went totally out there. The original series, um, you were fighting in the original game. You fought Nazis, but in the sequels, you fought Nazis and then Nazi zombies, because they used occult magic to raise an army of the dead. And then, of course, Zombie Tr Army Trilogy became popular. So Wolfenstein had to had to rethink its. Oh, nice. It had to rethink its strategy, so they want more. Um, Machine I base to kind of steam arm and soldier on like it's nothing. Need a tool to open this. Oh, we frame rate drop. Guess I gotta find the tool. There it is. A lot of things you can do with a hatchet and a Nazi. It's all good, man. Please watch over our people. Totally get it because food get this is important. It is the fuel to your day. So I'm probably going to grab some after this stream as well. <laughs> there we go. Holy frame rate drop. I'm to lower some settings for the next stream. Because for some reason, it, even on this machine, it's still... signal and kill the commander. Oh, that's so 
nerve wracking because I hate stealth. security system. Shit. I'll hit it with a grenade. Need a grenade first. some grenades. Gotta be some around here. There. there we go. Got myself a new exit. Success, Mr. Blaster! 
So how's everybody else doing out there in the, in the stream? Pretty good day. Are you guys well? those little tanks on them, I think. powerful than the first one. This thing is damn near unstoppable. Big boy got me.
This will make things much easier if I can pull this off. those things. Yep, I have to take him down stealthily. And it kills me, of course. God, this game is much harder than the first one. Holy hell. I think I'm just patient enough.
Ugh. All right, now I know where they're both at. I can take them out easier. So the first guy's over here. that one. Rush through. <sighs> the reload time on this is. I'm dead by him. So that must have worked for me last time. God. Dear God.
the fuck out of here, no! Why are you crazy Irish bastard? more difficult in certain aspects of, like, I hit a couple tough spots really early in the game, like, the level of difficulty just peaked. And then it just, with the suit, it got a little easier, and then right here, just a few minutes ago, it peaked again. But it's kind of weird balance. We're trying to strike here with hard and kind of overpowered with the power armor suit. Smart! You stop fidgeting. You want something for the pain? No, no, no. Just, just get on with it, man. Oh! Now listen up. Caroline had a plan. Yes. The liberation of the United States of America. Caroline wanted to free the U.S. and use it as a stepping stone to liberate the rest of the world. Come fuck high water. This is what we're gonna do. For Caroline. Oh, for God's sake, Max, stop helping. Why is there a Nazi on the boat? For this Nazi traitor, we'd all be dead by now. We owe her, so we can't kill her. Unless she fucks us over. You gonna fuck us over? No, mister. And I'm not a Nazi. Not anymore. All right. Now, Caroline had established radio contact with an American resistance cell in New York City. The only way we move forward... Caroline's plan is to build alliances with U.S. resistance groups and mobilize the people for the revolt. Death charges! Oh. 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 What in the name of Satan's bloody ass is happening? I love Fergus. He has, he has a way with words. I hear surface breaches. Multiple surface breaches. It's for no fucking angle. Will someone care to tell me how the fuck she found us? <laughs> well, speak up. Someone inside your orbit is transmitting your position. That is bloody marvelous. The Ausmerzer has been receiving messages from someone inside your orbit. That's how we found you. Fucking who? Section F. Who is the traitor? What? Okay. There, there it is. Section F. But there is no Section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there is no door there. What if there is? But if someone is hiding in there, transmitting that signal, you want to investigate. I'm gonna have to go have a look at Can they left? Come. <clears throat> Must be here. Move this locker. Shot from the other side. Here you go there. Hey, look to me. Use this. Fergus came to me with some thoughts for improvement. I think it would hit a little. Thanks. I miss the old girl. I will open this when you are done, big man. William, you have to find the transmitter and shut it down, or the depth charges will rupture our hull. Nice, I don't have to cut out anymore, just aim and shoot. We've made a mistake. On the floor plan, Section F just looks like a little laundry room. We looked for it when we first searched the U-boat after you captured it, but we didn't see the entrance door. And with all the things we were worrying about back then, I suppose we didn't bother looking too closely. But now well, I've re-examined the floor plan and now, there's a reference to a completely different document. The engineering map of Section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it. Okay.
code to inspect. I don't feel like read. This is a fidget game. We don't read. Nazis on this boat. Again, U boats are pretty big. Oh, I'll give them a second. Oh, you could make this easy. more difficult than the first game. Fuck. Just with damage ratio and how much health and armor you get. I found the engineering map. Palace tank, nuclear warhead stockpile. Oh my god. Section F stretches along the entire hull of the U-boat, and we're on the biggest U-boat in the world, so this section is gigantic. Some of it must serve as a main ballast tank or something, because it's a massive volume. <laughs> no telling how many Nazis could be hiding in there. Side. What? I hate how levels we'll do that. Disorient you. Ooh, water level. Do, do, do. Damn, it's the big ass U boat. William, those Nazis have been surviving in there ever since you captured the U boat five months ago. They must be starving and desperate. Stay safe, darling.
do do. Can make as much noise as I want now. Okay, transmission. I took a closer look at the stockpile of nuclear warheads in Section F. According to the engineering map, there's dozens of warheads in there. Let's hope Sweet. the Nazis haven't tampered with them. Oh, they probably have. Kidding me? There we go. Ich auch Weihnacht. Sich im eigenen U-Boot verstecken zu müssen. Da wird einem ja schlecht. Halt durch. Track of us now. Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there. Huh. Thank you, William. The Asmats is losing track of us now. Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there. Ooh. Are they gonna shoot her out? Barrel at sea, motherfuckers.
they felt. All the shit they've gone through. All of it gone. In one moment. at his workshop so he can check up on you. I worry about your health. And I better eat something before I pass out. Set. Hey, no. Oh. Yeah, read, read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh my god. Just so these go away. Boss, as well as I do. What I got, he can't cure. Okay, Max. It's time. It makes sense. Hey, Max. Why you look so glum? I know you like Rosa, but this is the natural order of things. Pig is dying, so humans can eat. Max, <laughs> And we have run out of food for her. We only have Dang. Left. He just want to kill his no pet pig, dude. Food. of a squirrel monkey and the head of my beloved Siamese kid, Shoshana. Look, he's not going to do anything to you. He's a good man. You huh. see, I, I found Shoshana hunting for rats in the reactor room when we captured the U-boat. Puts the she head on a different she body. She was dying of bowel cancer when, when I stumbled upon this practically brain-dead monkey chewing on a blasting cap. And please do me a favor, Mr. Blaskowitz, lower your ex. You're making me nervous. This is not only my, my favorite animal. This is most probably my, my most significant scientific achievement. Yes, you are significant. You're, you're hungry? Here's a fish cake. You see, <clears throat> in order to do a cross-species head transplant, you need to A, bridge the spinal column. She's okay. B, harmonize otherwise totally recalcitrant biological system, respiratory and circuit. Okay, and then, I get it. Spare me the science, Momo. Old Kotch cake who had such a long day, and I'm, I'm sorry. Let's see. You want something for the sleeping guy? No, no. I just need to keep busy. Distractions. Uh, no, I understand. I understand. We all grieve in different ways, but I have a perfect distraction for you. Here you go. Look, a few days ago, Anya asked me to make a shooting range for the fighters on board. It's almost finished, but. I was experimenting with an old German uh, drone for target practice when suddenly this fakakta machine went Adolf Hitler on me, started running Michigan in there. So, I had to lock it inside. Do you mind going in there and destroying the drone? And, uh, feel free to, to try my shooting range. Tell me how you like it. Just, just come back, give me your thoughts when you're done. Okay? Okay, I'll have a look. I appreciate it. That always leaves such a mess for us to clean up. I don't know, my friend. How are you feeling in head, Mr. Stein? Good days and bad. This is a good home for us, Caroline. 
You always made the right call. Camera. Then I would enter a psychotic and paranoid state. How was my shooting range? Ah, uh, well done, Yingle. You fresh apple, you. Evlastovich, your lady Anya, she was here looking for you. Oh, 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 yes. Anya found Caroline's notes about the American resistance over New York City. Look for her in Caroline's room. smell her in here. I found Caroline's notes on the American resistance in New York City. I know their exact location. Can you look for Fergus for me? He's been back on his feet again after the surgery. And I asked him to bring me some nitroglycerin from the ammo depot, but he hasn't returned. Go to the ammo depot next to the shooting range and find him. Prosthetic arm, savagely killing you in the eye. Had to turn it off. Is that normal? What's that say? Uh, something about there being a, a learning curve and whatnot. How I needed to learn how to trust it. I don't know. I'll tell you. The sudden arm. I'll be using it to take a piss anytime soon. I guess I trained in a game, dog. Show weakness in the pounds. What you got to do is show that thing who's in charge. Right, right. Well, you just. Uh, Stand there and be ready to step in in case uh, looks like I'm about to die. Establish contact there and let them know our helicopters are friendly. I've looked, but I couldn't find any means of contacting them in Caroline's notes. Bloody hell. Well, we'll need to approach from ground level then. 
Introduce ourselves properly, face to face. Ground level. The whole city is saturated by fallout from the Nazi atom bomb. Lethal levels of radiation if we go there without protective wear. Yeah, well, this one... Well, this armor will shield from all radioactivity. Oh. Will you do it then, Blasco? Have you grown too weak and useless now? Always wanted to see the Big Apple. Lovely. Well, by then, drop him off now, eh? No problem, Wing Commander. Can I be of use? What do we know, Lars? Tanya? Five degrees pot, one side continues, straight forward. Got you, Blondie. Hey, big friend. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles? He's not New York underground, crawling with crocodiles. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, Blasco. Find your way through you the bombed out city and reach the state building. Faster the better. Fargus out.
on a wood save like right here right in the middle of an alarm. to chop him and it fucking glitched. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? Where's he at?
So where do I go? Oh, fuck. Reach the state building. Oh, okay, I gotta go over there. Buildings like this. Oh, you can't go up these stairs? So New York got bombed out. <laughs> Fucking crocodile, are you serious? God damn. Should have listened to Bombate. Playing up the New York alligator. Damn, the blast radius. I'm gonna kill this fucker before the session is over, because I cannot let him win.
to power up this old train. See if it moves. William, do you read? If you are on Fifth Avenue, the State Building should be near. It's like kill the commander and get rid of all these enemies.
And there's sleep building. Okay. How do I go to sleep building? Mama, you showed me postcards from your family in New York City. Wanted to go there. Just you and me. guy and then we'll
there. Oh, really? Someone missing. Get up there. They're state building. Okay. Here, maybe. Find a way to reach the top of the state building and make contact with the resistance group. Look for elevators, stairs, anything. The radiation levels should be acceptable at the top of the building. Your boy, Sonia. Every second. A glory. For this cutscene, that's going to be it for this session. <laughs> Made it through quite a bit. Just who the fuck are you, white boy? Stay calm. Let me first make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What are you saying? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? When you ain't a white-ass fascist Nazi pig, then you either colored or you're a deviant. Now you sure as hell ain't colored, so you're trying to pass as a deviant? He look like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. Not be a deed. God, I told you he's a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Oh, fucker! Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn Nazi. Hey! <laughs> now, you bring Super Spesh back in and you put him down right now, or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Oh, lady. <laughs> I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! <laughs> Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a dead. Oh, he's got a six sense of humor. Uh, dude, you're 
You're crushing me. Oh. Ugh. Chili, okay? It's my papa's recipe. Ain't got no spoon though. Thanks. So what's uh with the chicken fats? Chicken? <laughs> that's that's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. I almost got killed by William Goddamn Blaskowitz. Yeah. <laughs> You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time. And I came up. Looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno. You know what I'm saying? I remember the main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember. Screams echoing through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms, and they just drooped. Like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. And I remember his mom. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? Shit. That's gonna be for Mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. Why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of bad assery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I got, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, Special? There's pigs, lots of them coming up the stairs. They're gonna fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, you got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya. We're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on. Get your shit. You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you white-ass fascist Nazi pig! <laughs> 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 